What a long day. There's nothing going on and I'm so bored. We could play something. Yeah, but what do you want to play? A long time ago at school, we put on a play and it was a whole lot of fun for everyone. What a great idea, Alfred. We can all play a part in it. The hardest thing is deciding which play to do. Why don't we do the three little pigs? I'm already a little pig. That sounds like a good idea. I could be the wolf since I'm already a dog. Rita and Milo could be two more little pigs. But what should we do with Mumu and Talalo? We could make Mumu the narrator of the story. And Talalo... Talalo can be in the crew and help out. Sounds good to me. Let's go get everything ready. My dear friends, I'm going to tell you the best story that you will ever hear. It's called Alfred the Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in the countryside. Each was very different from one another. And they were threatened by a ferocious wolf. They decided to build houses of their own to take shelter. Rita was very tall and yellow and didn't like working very much, so she decided to build a little house made of straw so she could finish quickly and go out and play. But what Rita didn't know was that the wolf was about to give her the biggest scare of her life. On the other hand, we have Milo. Milo was a great worker and a wonderful carpenter, so he decided to build a house made of wood. Milo was sure that his house was very strong and never thought for one second that anything bad could happen to him. He's a real expert creating houses made of wood, but what he really wants to do is finish quickly to go out and play with Rita. The last pig was Olga, the best looking and hardest working little pig the valley had ever seen. Olga decided to build a house made from stone and brick. It was a very strong house and was very secure even if it took a lot of effort. I've already finished my house, and you should know that my house is made of straw and is just as good as yours made of wood. What a waste of time. Mine is already complete. I'm the fastest and the best. <laughs> what on earth made you build a house of stone? I made one out of straw and it's already finished. While on the other hand, you're wasting time making a house of stone? <laughs> All of a sudden, a strong, ferocious, and terrible wolf approached our friends with the intention of eating them all up in one single bite. By the time they noticed, the wolf was already very close and they all yelled, A wolf! A wolf! They all went inside their respective houses and just barely saved themselves. But the wolf was very hungry, so he decided to go to Rita's house. I'm so hungry! I'm gonna eat the little pig who's inside this house! You won't be able to come in my house! That's what you think! I'll show you how I can huff and puff and blow your house down! The wolf blew very hard and the house went flying through the air. Rita, afraid that the wolf was going to eat her, ran as fast as she could into the house made of wood. But the ferocious wolf followed her. Come out of that house or I'm going to eat you! We will never come out. This house is very strong and you won't be able to come inside. That's what you think. I'll huff and I'll puff until this house flies away too! The ferocious wolf huffed and puffed and the house trembled but remained in place. He blew again and the house flew up in the air. Rita and Mila were shocked to see that the house had been blown away and they quickly started running to Olga's house. But the wolf followed them. Come out or I'll huff and I'll puff and blow this house down too. 
I don't think you'll be able to do that with this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. That's what you think. Now I'll show you. Wolf blew and blew, but the house wouldn't move. You see, Mr. Wolf, you can't blow away this house. <sighs> the wolf tried, but the house wouldn't move. Then the wolf went up on the roof and tried to get in through the chimney. But the three little pigs lit the fireplace. And the wolf reached the ground. He burned his behind and ran away. Ouch! 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 That really burns! It really burns! Finally, the little pigs were safe, and the wolf never came back to bother them again. End of the story. What a beautiful day it is today. Look at this flower. It smells wonderful. Hello, little froggy. How are you? Do you want to play with me? Little froggy, don't run away. I want to play with you. Little froggy. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I just want to play with you. Where could it have gone? Little froggy! Little froggy! Are we playing hide and seek? Uh. Olga, Milo, something terrible has happened. What happened? Mumu hasn't eaten her afternoon snack. And what's so terrible about that? Mumu never misses eating her afternoon snack. It would be like one morning the sun not coming out. Oh, what's more, I've been looking for her for the past three hours and can't find her anywhere. I agree, that is a problem. We need to go and look for her right now. But where will we look for her? We should split up and look in different places. But it would take too long to find her. I think it would be best for all of us to take the train and go look for her all together. What a great idea, Milo. Let's go right now. My friends, today we're taking the train. Everyone ready? Then off we go. Little froggy. If you're still playing hide and seek, forget it because I'm tired now. Who in the world goes in the forest without knowing where to go? I think I'm lost. Now I'll never see my friends again. Poor little me. Hello, little cow. Why are you so sad? I got lost in the forest. I saw you in the garden and wanted to play with you, but you went so fast and I thought you were playing a game. But following you, I got lost. I see. Well, you do have a problem, and it's a big one. I already know that. Do you want me to help you get out of here? And how are we going to do that? We don't know the way home. I already know that, but we can look for it together. That sounds very good to me. Wonderful, a brilliant idea. Is it a game? So where do we start? Well, we'll start by walking and you'll see everything will turn out fine. I'll follow you. Moo, moo. Where are you? Moo Moo! I think I should blow the train whistle so that she knows we're here. I don't think she's around here. Maybe we should go and search somewhere else. You're right, Alfred. We're going, friends. Hold on tight. <laughs> Moo moo! Moo moo! Moo moo! Maybe she went to live with the sheep and we'll never see her again. Don't say that, Alfred. I'm sure we're gonna find Moo. Don't you worry. We've been walking for a long time now and we haven't seen anything. I think we're almost there. Don't you worry. 
Can I stay here and sleep with you if we don't find my friend soon? Well, of course you can. Yay! But I hope you like sleeping in the water. Huh? Sleep in the water? I'd rather sleep in a nice dry bed. I'm not an aquatic cow. Frogs usually like being in the water and sometimes we sleep in it. But there are times when we sleep on land. We'll find a spot for you. Thank you, little froggy. Hmm, it would be nice to find something for dinner. Milo, blow the whistle again. Moo, moo. Moo, moo. Are you here? I don't think she's here either. Well, if she's not here, I don't think we'll find her today. We'd have to sleep out in the open. I think it would be better if we went home. What's that noise? <gasps> that must be my friends who are looking for me. The noise Yay! is coming from over there. Let's hurry up before they leave. Moo -moo. It would be faster if instead of running, mm -hmm. you jump the way I do. Okay. <clears throat> Run, little froggy. They're leaving. Uh, you go. You run faster alone. Follow the path and you'll be there right away. Goodbye, <sighs> little froggy. Thank you. Don't leave me here all alone. Poor Moo Moo. She'll be all by herself tonight. Loneliness, hunger, cold. Wait for me! Don't go! Rita! Hey, hold on, hold on! I hear something! <gasps> Rita! Thank you for coming to rescue oh, me! You really gave us quite a scare, Moo Moo! I'm so sorry, friends! I'll never go alone into the forest, I promise you! I love you all so much! And we love you, Moo Moo! <laughs> when are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred, and he's not a shepherd dog. Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So is he your boyfriend or what? No, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred... She's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost. I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. 
Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. No. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind Milo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Psst, psst. <gasps> <laughs> 